Despite the freezing temperatures in Antarctica, these Brazilian scientists are working without gloves. They've been collecting data on King George Island for the past eight years. These fiddly humidity and temperature sensors take readings so that they can study climate change. Antarctica is the most untouched region on Earth, making their research more accurate. Conducting these studies in Antarctica is fascinating because there is very little human interference down here. The environment is much more sensitive to climate evolution. So here we can determine very clearly if climate change really does exist. If they determine that climate change exists, these researchers want to establish if it's caused by humans. It's research which requires patience. As with their fieldwork in Antarctica and lab work in Rio, it will take around 30 years before they can draw any conclusions. Last year, we recorded a record low temperature of minus 93 degrees, almost minus 94. This is one example of climate change, but whether this is down to natural meteorological cycles or because of human activity, well, it's still too early to say. The results may take time, but there is an urgent need for action. The latest UN IPCC report lists drought, flooding and food shortages among the potential side effects of global warming. The research continues on Antarctica, where the bleak environment fosters cooperation and camaraderie between all who work there. Today, Leonardo visits the Chilean base, where his colleagues are working with microscopic plant-like organisms to do their part for climate change research. Our project is based on the study of phytoplankton. We're working in the field, in the laboratory, as well as by satellite. Well, we want to see how plankton has evolved through time. Laden with suitcases packed full of biosamples, it's time for these scientists to head back to the lab in Rio. This latest round of data collection will bring them a step closer to understanding climate change.